Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this MS 700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In the previous video, we talked about how to create and manage Microsoft 365 group. In this one, we are going to learn about Microsoft 365 groups classification. So when creating Microsoft 365 groups, you might want to add information about the group's purpose. For example, you might want to inform the users what type of documents are stored within the group. This types of group functionality is called group classification. You can configure group classification so that when users in your company create a group, they can choose a classification as well. You can configure group classification so that when users in your company create the group, they can choose a classification as well. For example, when a user create a group, the user can choose from classification from standard, internal and confidential. Group classification does not exist by default. So administrators will need to create this group classification so that users can use when they create a group. So how do you enable and configure Microsoft 365 group classification? Before users can use classification on Microsoft 365 groups, an administrator needs to define classification by using Azure Active Directory PowerShell command lines. You need to install the latest version of Azure AD Preview command line. And then next, you need to associate a description to each classification by using settings attribute and classification descriptions. It might take up to an hour until the classification settings are available for all users. And once the Microsoft 365 groups classification has enabled, you can configure the classification to a group from Outlook or Teams client. You can see on the image below. So this is where you can go and modify and select the right classification for your group.